All right, hello everyone. Today I wanted to just give you guys a quick sneak peek of our newest build, which is the 3D Sets Max Team Van. You can see it's kind of modeled after the A Team Van. Maybe we'll start right down here on these wheels. These wheels are actually two different pieces. Obviously one's printed in red and the other's in black, and then they just kind of snap together, which is pretty cool. If you're building these ones, make sure you give a little bit of care because they are keyed on the inside and they only go together one way, so uh, definitely take a look at those. These are the recommended tires that are in the 3D set spy list. They fit really well, so I'd recommend getting those. These ones have not been glued on yet, and they will tend to slide off a bit, so they're definitely something that I'm gonna glue pretty quick. But yeah, I'm just loving all these red details with the wheels here and this line through the van, the red spoiler up top, and uh, even on the exhaust here, there's little red tips, which is pretty nice. So the stance of the van is pretty even, but the front is actually a lot heavier than the rear of the vehicle. So I'm using 60 millimeter shocks front and back. I think uh, they said 60 to 70 millimeter front and back would be about right. Uh, I had some 60s lying around, so that's what I chose. Um, the front ones, however, are almost already fully compressed, whereas the rear ones aren't compressed at all. So I'm gonna have to change out the springs on them, put some heavier springs up front, or maybe even look into uh, doing those 70 millimeter shocks, because these 60 millimeter ones might just not be quite adjustable enough. These body pieces here are all multi-material prints, where we'll print black on the bottom, and then stop and change the filament for red in the middle, and then gray on top. And that gets us this real sweet effect with a uh, line down the middle. These body pieces as well are actually all designed to be 3D printed without infill in them, so uh, that helps save a lot on printing time and on filament, because there is a ton of filament that will go into something this big. So that's pretty cool to see that 3D Sets actually took that into account when they were designing this model. So the doors on the van do open. You can open the front one here like that. They're just little friction clips here. That clips on right to the head of this M3 cylinder head screw and uh, snaps into place. Same thing with this sliding door here. You can grab it and pop it open and then slide it down. And you can see it's quite spacious on the inside. I was actually able to fit an entire 12 pack of beer in there, so that's pretty cool. Although it does definitely bottom out your suspension when you add that much weight in. But just being 3D printed here, this actually works fairly smoothly. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. And it clips together like that. Moving around to the back of the vehicle as well. We can pop open the rear doors like so. One of the neat things about this design is that um, your electronics tray is under here and you can actually turn the machine on and off with a little switch that gets installed underneath the rear license plate. To access that, you can actually flip up these two little locks here, and then you can pull your electronics tray right out with the rear bumper. And you can see we have our speed controller, receiver, and battery all stored inside. Closes like that, and locked in place. Taking a look from the front here, um, you can actually 3D print this Max sign uh, in a different color on top of the front grille, and I'd recommend doing that, but I forgot to when I did mine, and so instead of printing it, I just put a little bit of white paint on there, so uh, that worked out as well. Little 3D sets front license plate there. You can pop open the hood here, just like that. Inside you get your radiator and cooling, you got a couple reservoirs here, you got a battery, a brake cylinder, um, down below there is where you'd find your servo and your motor is right back there. You can actually install a RC fan on this radiator. It does have slots in it, so you can blow uh, cool air from the front here right over your motor. That's not something I installed though, but if I had problems with overheating, that's definitely something I'd look into. Take a look at the interior. So the driver's side door is just a little sticky and sometimes, there we go. That happens until you open and close it a few times and the PLA kind of gets worn into a uh, more reasonable shape there. It can be a little bit sticky to open. Here you can see the interior is pretty basic. I printed it mostly in gray with some brown seats to mimic leather. There is some details on the dash which was a multicolor print. Just to add a bit of realism and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Interior door panel as well, uh, just a bit of black on the gray there. All right, we flipped it over here so we can see underneath. Uh, this rear axle does have an open differential in it. You can choose to print it with an open or closed diff. That's up to you, but you can see here, open differential. It's nice that the wiring from the electronics box here has uh, little indentations on the side here for the wires to kind of clip into and hold them out of the way. 
The front of the car has a independent dual wishbone suspension here, which is actually designed completely different from anything that I've ever built from 3D sets before. So that was real interesting to build and it seems to work great. You can see the motor right there. Uh, it's just a little C3530 1100KV brushless uncensored outrunner motor that we're running. And that's paired with a 30 amp ESC that is hidden in here. And then we're using a belt drive gearbox. And there's actually four different belts that are hidden throughout here that are actually uh, driving this rear drive shaft. So there we go. That's most of everything I wanted to show you here today. The one thing that I still would really like to do is uh, maybe add some lights to it. It'd be really cool if the headlights and running lights functioned and the turning signals. It'd be really cool too if this top light bar would turn on with the vehicle. So we'll see maybe at some point if we can get that working. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with it. I'll throw it down on the ground here and just kind of show you what it looks like and uh, that'll be it for today. Anyways, there we go. It's totally functional. We'll get it outside for some testing soon. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel because we will have a full build video of the 3D Sets Max Team Van coming up very soon. If you're interested in building something like this, make sure you check out the 3dsets.com website. And also we do have build kits available for the 3D Sets Max Van. Check out rcprinter.com if you're looking for a build kit that includes fasteners, bearings, servos, belts, motor, and speed controller. Till next time, happy printing.